Cisco 5 Power Correlation Policy is to take an action against threats in real time when threats are not detected by IPS signatures since it's a zero day attack and there is no signature for it or the behavior of the traffic is not normal in our network. Cisco Firepower Correlation Policy is actually an if then rule that allows you to match based on many events on the network and then take appropriate action against it. To give you some examples, you can match based on discovery event. For example, if a new host is discovered in the network or a new application is installed in any host or a new port is open in any host, these are examples of discovery event. You can match based on intrusion events. For example, if a specific signature ID or GID is matched, if an intrusion event is triggered by a specific country, you can match based on user activity. For example, a new user is detected on the network or a user logs into a host. You can match based on malware events. For example, if a malware is detected in a host or on the network, you can match based on connection events. For example, if a specific access policy rule is matched by a specific IP address or username. You can match also if a traffic profile changes or another correlation events is triggered. As you have noticed, you have many options to match a specific behavior on the network. You can further narrow down the behavior by creating simple or complex conditions based on a specific IP address, MAC address, username, or host types. For the action, you don't have many options other than sending alerts by sending an email, an SNMP, or syslog message, a scanning the suspicious host with Nmap tools, or blocking the suspicious IP by configuring a null route in a router in the pass. To configure a sample correlation policy, if a new host in the subnet 192.168.0.0.16 null, null, is discovered and it sends traffic more than one byte, then it must be blocked immediately. We first configure the response action. Responses are configured through policies action. We can configure an email, SNMP or syslog alert. As you can see in the alert section, email, SNMP or syslog alert. It is also possible to scan a host when a certain behavior is met. For example, create a nmap remediation action, add nmap underline scan one, create nmap scan, add. You can change the parameters, remediation and map underline scan details. You can change the parameters. And then save. But in our example, we are asked to block a new host as an action. In Firepower, an IP address is blocked by adding a route in a router in the past with null as the next hub address. Cisco IOS null route at block 
IP. The IP address of the router, which you are going to add a null root, 192.168.111. The username, Royka. Password, Royka-code.com. Again, Royka-code.com. And enable password also, Royka-code.com. And again, we can accept some IP addresses, but we don't. And the block source or the destination block source, which is doing an abnormal behavior in our network, and then add. Remediation block source IP create and then save. So we have created the actions. In the second step, we create a rule for the match section of correlation policy in policies. Correlation and then rule management and then create rule sample correlation rule as the name and also description. We have many options in if section of the correlation policy, as we have explained earlier, I choose a discovery event occurs and then we have many options for the discovery event and I choose a new IP host is detected I can further narrow down the behavior with adding a simple or complex conditions to track only for a particular IP or MAC address or MAC type, MAC vendor, device type and so but I don't just to test, I add a connection tracker module. So after the rules initial criteria are met to track the connection, if the new detection host is in the range of, change it to initiator IP. If the new connected host in the, is the range of, for example, is in, 192.168.00/16 and then create a correlation event when the new host is sending more than one byte traffic total byte is greater than or equal to one byte to generate an event if the total byte are greater than or equal one byte we can also add user qualification module to track certain users or group of users in the network, but I do not. When a connection rule triggers a smooth period causes that rule not to trigger again for a specific interval, I choose, for example, one minutes. for a snooze period. And finally, we can add inactive periods. During inactive periods, correlation rules do not trigger. For example, daily at 12 p.m. for 10 minutes, the rule is completely inactive and then we have created a rule when a discovery event occurs and a new IP host is detected, 
which is in the range of 192.168.00/16, and it sends the byte greater than or equal one byte, then generate an event, correlation event, and then snooze the triggering event for one minute, and at 12, daily at 12 p.m. for 10 minutes, this rule is completely inactive. And then save. Now that we have created if and also then section of the correlation policy, we can tie them together using correlation policies in policy management tab and then create policy. For example, correlation underline policy one for the name and for the description, add rule. The if section of our policy sample correlation rule, which we have just created, add. And then response section of our rule we can add many response but i add only block source ip we can add many actions at the same time I scan the host and block the ip address update so if the if section of the correlation policy is matched then the response is to block the ip in the rotor in the pass and then save correlation policy and we have to also enable it and we don't need to deploy the changes just to check there is no change to be deployed to check the result of Firepower Correlation Policy, I change the IP address of the host behind FTD to a new IP address. For example, to IP address 121. and create some sample traffic, for example, bros, ping, and also FTP. So, that normally should be a new host detected in the network. Then we expect that a correlation event is generated when a new host is detected and sending more than one byte. So in the analysis, correlation events, as you can see, a new host 121 is detected and sending more than one byte traffic, sample correlation rule and correlation policy one we have just created. And we also expect that a null root is added to the router by IP address of 100 Let's start session Raika Raika dashcode.com enable show IP route as you can see for the IP address of 121 a route with the next hop up null is created in the router if it is in the past and will be blocked by rotor.